Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel here, Made by Yang Madonna. Today is February the 1st, and it's 12 o'clock noon. I have my special guest with me, Anne Marie Mikowski, today. Hi, everyone. It's an honor to always have you with me for these cotton cuts, girl. It's a blast Thank when you. we can get together. I'm enjoying it too. I am too. I've never done the cotton cuts and I'm really enjoying this so long and getting to know you on a more personal level. And I greatly appreciate you um, joining me for this and the next one. You're <laughs> welcome. Yes, the I'm, next I'm and the next too. and the next. So I'm going to slip into the chat as the girls are coming in and the guys just the notice just went out and things. So it's going to be a little bit delayed, but we're getting them in. Um, let me see, Julie, coffee in hand and ready to blast off. I love you, Julie. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Jeannie, hello, everyone. Got my coffee, too, and making my grocery list while I watch. Well, please add me something yummy. Yes. Hey, hey, Heather, how are you doing, girlfriend? I just love that girl. She's got a lot of great content. Anne Marie, if you haven't checked her out, the Dead Free Quilter, you're going to have to check her out. She's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. I'll look her up. Yeah, she's she's a good kid. Um, Julie is telling everybody hello. Um, Dead Free Quilter is telling Joe and Julie hello. And um, Amy C, hello, sweetheart. Dahlia's in the house. And I appreciate her. I'm just skimming really quick. And I think that's it. So eventually others will join in real quick. This isn't going to be a real long video today. Hey, Beth, good morning, sunshine. I love you. This is um, Beth Aver Goody Goods. If you haven't checked her out, check her channel too. Her long arm is just like. Yeah, I love. sit there like this. Yeah, <laughs> between her and Tucker, Teresa Louise and Tiffany, I'm mesmerized by their talent. Yeah, yeah I sadly turn into a lurker because I can't chat because I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's going, I'll be doing my first Cotton Cuts, The Village. Yay. I love it. The dead free quilter, um, looking out at the frozenness outside, wishing the minions were at school. God love you. Lucy Scott, hello, sweetie. So we're on month seven. Can you believe it already? No, I it's flown by. Like, this is just, you know, sooner get one done and put it in your little storage area, however you're going to do it. And then here we go. We're at seven already. It's hard to believe. Yes. But it's um, be very quick. Yeah, this is our color wave. Is it not stunning? I just love it. I mean, it's the fall when, and I'm Jones, and I'm telling you, and the village is just. I love that color too. Every time I see something, I'm just like, yeah, we got to do this, or can we do this? But mm -hmm. I love the way that they do their layout. They give you their calendar of events coming up. And it's just stinking amazing. There's no more, no less. It's just stinking amazing. This is going to, Clue 10 will come out on April the 28th, and then we'll be putting this baby together. That's going to be a long video. We're going to do it in sections, I think, okay. because there's no way I could ask you guys to hang out for like an all day gathering, but it'd be fun to for us to do a few records of us putting it together and then Joe put it in some form of a time lap. I think that would be okay. neat. Look like busy mice putting it together or something. Yes. <laughs> He'll come up with something. Um, Beth, um, that elephant behind you is distracting me. Oh no. Yeah, we have to name it. I'm thinking I'm gonna name it Eeyore or something fun, you know. He's amazing. Know. Yeah, it's a work in project, work in progress. The only thing left now is the eyes. And then when I come back, I'll be away. Mm -hmm. I'll come back live and then we'll just finish up wherever everybody's at and then join all five sections together and have a paper ripping party. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> and, and it's just really, I'm going to stand up and give you a little view of it. Joe hates when I mess with his camera. Yeah, he does. <gasps> I haven't seen the top of him. He's amazing. Yeah. I love it. Now, where you see those diamonds, that's going to be the eyes. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So I liked the lion, but I'm telling you what, this one, I love he it. Is it's stunning. gorgeous. Well done, FPP queen. God love you. You got me hooked on this, girl. <laughs> I, 
she did a um, small pattern and was sending it out to some friends to test. Uh-huh. And it was the dog. And I'm telling you what, I had him all jacked up. The poor guy was disabled. <laughs> a few j- times with Jack and I got him to look like a dog. And I told her, I said, that's it. I'm a one in sign. And here I am six months in and I'm loving these big ones just as much as the small. I'm segueing. I love regular piecing, but this here is just like, it's got me. I've never done a big FPP. Well, you're going to have to come on board for the next one. I do. I will try. <laughs> I'll talk to you when we're done. Don't let me forget. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm going to do a legit kit one. So I'll fill you in on that. Okay. Gonna, I'm just going to throw it out there for everybody that's here. You get the news. <laughs> legit kits has started a box of the month on reserve. Yeah. <laughs> and it is so stinking amazing. So what you need to do if you're interested in legit kits, this is the called um, Cyclone. They're tweaking the last of the back end of it. And then mm-hmm. myself um, and a few other content creators, we're going to be doing the box of the month on our channels uh-huh. demonstrating. So if you're interested in signing up, head over to Legit Kits. They'll mail you enough stuff for four blocks a month. One a week, you'll do that way. It's not too Im- overpowering. Uh-huh. And I'll be doing that on my channel. I'm not sure how the other ones are going to be doing theirs, but I'm going to do mine live. That way I'm demonstrating it every step. Okay. In the end, I'm going to come live and I'm going to wrap it up. Wow. So if anybody wants to hop on, give my name where they said, where did you learn about me? Put Donna Strunz. And that just lets them know that my channel is directing people there. So I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me get my name in with legit you know? So, um, I'm excited when you, when we get done, everybody go look at legit kids, cyclone pattern. I'm telling you, it is mind blowing. It's not going to be really hard. Okay. If you're even a beginner could do it. Yeah. I'm sort of, I'm not necessarily beginner, but I'm not too intermediate yet. I'm somewhere still (laughs) floating in. (laughs) I don't know what I would classify myself other than doing it. (laughs) Uh, let me see absolutely beautiful your eyes should arrive by tomorrow I think maybe Amy C had the fabric that I needed for this Mm -hmm. for the eyeballs and when I put them in everybody's just going to be like OMG I I was on the hunt for several weeks for this I knew what I wanted Uh uh-huh Amy she had it and we we got it so we're lucky So with all of that being said, let's get busy sewing. So clue seven, you're going to do seven A section and work us through that. And I'm going to do the seven B section and work us through that. Okay. So what I like about cotton cuts is they always give us the block of the month. So you can do your color waves however you would like. You color in the back. You can color in just one little block. This one's kind of cute, the checker. It's the four patch. I love it. You can do so much and it's so versatile. So I really like that. I love the way the cotton cuts gives you your count sheet. And you make sure that your packing slip matches all the information. I did my count already. And it's just everything. I have not, knock on wood had to order an oops kit or ask them to send me one piece I was missing. But if you would ever get a kit and something is missing, all you have to do is PMQ support under cotton cuts and they will help you right away. Tell them what piece is missing, you know, and they'll send it straight away. Accidents do happen. So what we're going to do here is Go back to our color chart and they tell you to keep this. I took a picture and logged it in my phone. Should I have lost this or still could possibly before the end, mm-hmm. I can pull it out of my phone and know where my, my alphabet coding is. So it really helps to just have it handy, lay it out. And it's going to tell you, I like this because the mushrooms in it. That's the only reason we picked this pattern. 
So for mine, I'm going to join A and B. This is my A, and it's like a sage green. And I think it's really cute. Then this is my B, and that's my mushrooms. I dearly like them. Mm -hmm. And I've They're had so to make cute. 20, and I'm on my last five of that leg. And then we've got these cute little keys. Now, if that's not darling, I'm going to get Joe to switch my camera down. It's too light when I hold it up. I'm not sure if you'd be able to see it that way even. Yeah, it's too light. Let me see if I can block this. But it's just, it's got little keys all along it. And that's what I really liked about this. So I'm going to work yeah. this block. Can you and, see it if I? Yeah. Can you see the little keys? And it's like a real light cream color. It's just really cute. Is this the first clue? Elizabeth, no, this is for our piazza and this is month seven um is this the box that comes pre-cut i've never ordered yes Jeannie, it is it comes pre um cut and everything that you need each month rolls out they bill you once a month and it's pre-cut into these little stacks and you'll get the right quantity and it's accu-cut quilt AccuCut Cuts. And if anybody is interested, I am not an ambassador for cotton cuts, but you can use So Becca if you would be interested in signing up for this and she would greatly appreciate it. And let me see, Marie Johns, hi, sweetheart. Okay, just got mine done today. How did you like it, Elizabeth? And some of these, you got to use a scant quarter inch. I'm trying to do the straight quarter inch, but as you make one block, you're going to learn loosen that seam up just a little or whatever the case may be. I adjusted mine just a hair also. Yeah. But these are so easy to sew. You look at the pattern one time, lay your block out, and then it's just streamlining it. Mm -hmm. And then I like the directions because it the little tiny taut arrows, they push to the direction of press your seam this way, press it this way. And it just walks you through everything you need to do. Mm -hmm. Kathleen Champ, hello, Jeannie, okay. Ta -ta. <laughs> Should I just turn that? And we won't be on long today. We just wanted to come on and show you these blocks because I'm telling you, Cotton Cuts does a fabulous job and they're sure to please and you won't be disappointed. I like it when it's project based and it's spread out enough that you can really enjoy it. And I'm sewing on mine. I'm doing eight of A and C together to make a okay. half square triangle. Cool. And then I have four of A and C to make a flying geese unit. That's the first part. All right. I like how it's laid out. You'll have to build two sections and build one section and then marry it into the second. Mm -hmm. LOL, I caved and bought the elephant pattern. I've been thinking about doing these cotton cuts too. Marie, they're fabulous. And if you have any trouble or questions with the elephant, feel free to give me a call. I'm really liking the way mine turned out. I was worried about going with those shades of gray and that blue grungy, but I'm telling you, I think it looks really nice. It looks mm -hmm. like it's coming out of the darkness, you know? Yes. And that's what I wanted, something that was gonna be just fun to do. Big thumbs up. Thanks, Donna. You're always welcome, sweetheart. And I appreciate you guys hopping on every time I do a spontaneous live or a regular lives. Okay. So let me see where are we at. So have you had any trouble at all with any of the pieces, any step of the way? 
I've not. Other than when our machine ate month one. That was the only problem I had and mine ate it good. So I needed my oops kit, but it was easy to get it cut out and replaced. And Right. They work fabulous. So for this section, all of these, there's five. We're just going to go left to right and marry these in. And you're going to make a row of five. And if you ever have trouble, use your ender leaders. They help dramatically. Tremendously. <laughs> yep. And then on the block that I'm making, here's the first row, the bottom half put together. It looks gorgeous. I just love the way the colors are. I'm so excited to see all this put together. <laughs> it's going to be a fun day. I might do it on a Zoom to where anybody can come watch us do it. I don't know. We'll figure it out before the time comes. Okay. And then the directions, like I said, always tell you which way to press. And for these, you're going to go to the right. And on mine, they were out. Marie Jones, Anne Marie, the blocks behind you, this cotton, wait a minute, Anne Marie, are the blocks behind you, this cotton cuts page. No. No. She's, Anne Marie, she's asking if a pattern that's up on the wall behind you, what's the pattern for that? This one is Socialites too. The red ones. Can you? Yeah. That's really pretty too. Thank you. You're welcome. I've wanted to do a red and white quilt for forever. And for whatever reason, I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And I got all of this red fabric in and it was just like the universe was telling me you're going to do a red and white quilt. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been, it's been fun. I have a couple, I'm still point challenged, but they're, they're getting better. I used to sit and pick if I saw that one was just a wee little bit off, but I've learned the trick how to get my points to stay. And um, on the back, when you're looking like I don't have, I'll have a flying geese here in a minute and I'll show you how to save that. But on the back where the little X is of your flying geese, uh -huh. draw a little line there with your quarter of an inch ruler. Okay. And as you're sewing it in, make sure that's facing you and you'll never lose your points. Oh, that's an amazing idea. Yeah, I had never done it. And Kathy over at um, Kathy's Cute Creations showed me that online one day and I've never turned back. It never fails to work. Just a little tweak in there. Uh-huh. Now I'm taking fabric E and joining that to the bottom of what I've just joined with A and B. And I'm taking fabric C and fabric E and making a beginning unit. And I've already got fabric E attached to one side. Socialites is a fat quarter shop pattern. Yes, ma'am. I'm just trying to watch the chat too. Then just press it and I give it a little bit of heat love. I'm learning on these though. I really like using my clapper to help hold that seam down and let it cool because it makes it come in really nice. So how many in the chat has done these? I'm just curious because I'm telling you, they're stinking amazing. I love these. Okay. 
And just give it a little press. And one geese is done. And on mine, once you get both of E's on there, it'll look like this. And then you're gonna take a B for either side and add it to the corners. That's gonna look really cool. Now, since we've stored everything from the beginning, I'm have you have went back them. yet and had a look see? Kind of like a little memory. I haven't. I haven't either. And I'm just like, hmm, might just have to do that when I get ready to put these in their drawer. Because they're stinking cute. One, what caught my attention was that there's no cutting and love their colorways. Absolutely. I like it. There's no trimming, no nothing. And the piecing, from what I'm hearing now, when it comes time to put everything together, it just adds on it. Just to clarify, Cotton Cuts comes with all of the pieces cut for you, correct? Absolutely. It's going to come in a little packet. You're going to get it like this in this handy little envelope. It'll have your address on this side. All of your fabric is packaged inside of the sleeve. This will also be laid in just like this. And then it's put inside of a bag even just in case it would get wet. And it has the cotton cuts. You open it up, you slide it out. You do your count and you're ready to go. Easy peasy. It just works. Who's ever brainstormed that was somewhere along the way, they did a fabulous job. Totally agree. It's just one of those ones, you know, they knew what they were doing. That's why they're the ones in charge, because I'm telling you, it's a win-win. And by the end, it's so cool because you'll have a quilt and you've honed some of your skills. You had straight line sewing, but you're making blocks in different variations. You probably would never have done. That's like this one. I would have never have thought to do this one. Yep. Are you doing um, like all of your little string clips and stuff as you go on this? Mm -hmm. I am too. I've had a couple where you look at them and it's like, oh no, we got to trim threads. I like to do it as I'm going along. And this, I mean, it comes together in a, a jiffy. It's one of those, when you got 15 minutes in an evening, put a set of your blocks together Easily. and then the next night do the next set and it's just cute how you all you have to do is lay it down and flip it over you read your directions and it's going to tell you exactly the angles you need Jack Day for a second. I pulled that seam. No girl likes a date with Jack. Thank you, sweetheart. Hmm. 
My seam folded and I missed it. Operator error here. Okay, on mine, you're gonna have four, oops, I need to flatten that again. You're gonna have four, this is the top of the block. So you'll have four that look like this. Cool. And four that look like this, and then those get attached together or sewn together. I like how it looks like little wings. A little bit. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It, it does. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Daria. I want to find, I do want someone to benefit from it. Absolutely. Um, Marie Johns, do you have a link with them in case I decide to do it? Do you benefit? No, I do not have a link with them, but you can add Becca and her link. Like when you go under cotton cuts for puzzle mystery quilt for the next one, then I would say, where it says code enter Becca, B-E-C-C-A, and she will benefit from it. And laying this out, it's just cute. Just make sure you have your arrow and flip it over. I'm a pinner by nature. So am I. <laughs> yep. I'm a pinner or a clipper. Um, and yes, Becca has a link and you will get a little extra gift if you order from her site. So order from Becca. Yes, this is one. I do not have an affiliate link. Life gets Thanks, Donna. Busy, and I I'd rather shout out to my on. friends. Do what, babe? I think Becca just came on. Okay. Got the day off lurking in the chat while I'm chatting catching up on projects. Becca, would you please drop your affiliate link for the um, next puzzle mystery quilt so that the ladies that want to do it will have your link. I greatly appreciate it. friends in the world of YouTube. You shout them out as much as you can. Donna will be an ambassador for cotton cuts before too long, but right now you are. So I say, let's share you. Already taken care of, Miss Donna. Thank you. I love you, girl. She's like my bonus kid, you know? You can't have too many of them. She's a sweetheart. She is. And she's got such a loving, giving heart. I have so, learned a lot from her. <laughs> if she doesn't know it, she'll find out and teach her. And that's what I like. Mm -hmm. So you make four of these. And I just, I love these keys. I think between that and the mushrooms is what I was jonesing for when we saw this pattern. I thought of my daughter. And then when I showed it to her, the mushroom, she's like, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the block that Anne Marie's working on. And this looks like it doesn't line up what you're seeing right here on these corners. Let me slide this back. But honestly, it does because this is going to be in your seam allowance. So this is going to be lost, you know? 
And so I can honestly say month seven is done, but I'm going to pull out a couple of the other months while you're still sewing, babe, okay. and show the, where we've came from on these. I'm telling you, I love it that it's a quick sew. It's laid out exactly as you need it. You, no cutting, no nothing. It's kind of like mindless sewing. And I, I don't mean that in a negative light at all. No, it's, there's sometimes there's you just you, need that. Yep. There's days you just don't want to be bothered with all of the cutting and everything. You just want to come home, sit in front of your machine and decompress. And cotton cuts is the go-to for that. So let me see. That's clue one. I want to get these opened up in order because of that's just the way we roll. But I love how we can just stack them in the order they came. And it just works. Their layout is outstanding. So let me pop up in month one, just kind of like just showing a little bit of where we've been to where we're headed. Now, that, remember month one, this block is going to look a little bit familiar. Oh. Remember this? See, I have not gone back. The only one I can precisely remember is block two. I think it's block two. Yeah, not, this is oh. kind of like a little walk down memory lane, is it not? Yes. <laughs> I'm loving it because I was like, I know I did this block before, but this is the block from this month. Just a different row of colors. And then this was month one. And then you've got your four patch with a little bit of a variation right here with a HST. I don't know what direction this baby's going. From month one, we were like, oh, this is going to be interesting. Then month two, we were 100% sold. Because wait till you see that block. This, I have a drawer for all of these. So I just open and drop. Okay, blue. This one was really fun to do. Now, how cool is that? We'll have to press these before we do all the piecing yes. of it. But I'm just like, whoever sat down and designed these, I'm telling you, and this rose dead center, I totally scored with that block. You don't always get them that perfect, but that was a good one. Okay. Kind of like a little tiny walk. Yes. Okay, and let me here are my three. I love it. Okay, this is it takes a village, right, Kathleen? Yes. Lily, yes. Everyone just hopping in between meetings. Love. I love that code word, back up village. Is it not darling? Okay, here is another one. And the rose is still center. Yes. I love. I think that might be my favorite one. I know my daughter loves the mushrooms, but I love those roses. That rose uh -huh. And then we made four of these blocks. I'll probably be calling Ian Beck and saying, okay, guys, my design wall, you know, tell me how I'm going to do this. Yes because they are the masters of this. And I loved how they came together and did theirs. That was just rocking. They did. That was so much fun. <laughs> it was. I could have watched all day. So that's three. Let's find four. Okay. It's just fun to look back. Now, this is stinking adorable. You ready? Remember that one? Yes. <laughs> oh. I bet somehow I'm taking dip. I'm, I'm calling dip. So on this one, I'm thinking this somehow is going to be laid out maybe in the center. Because we have four blocks and I've laid it out and played with it. Uh -huh. This kind of looks like a ribbon in the center. Oh, I I'm not saying it is. It. <laughs> I'm not saying it is by any means, but the house thinking cool would that be? Yes. 
And then someone asked me the other night when I was talking to him, can you lay these out in any old order? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the blocks are all in different sizes. So that's month four. Let's look at look back at month five. Oh, you do make a point. I could go Friday before the live stream. Let me see. I, I missed what they're talking about. Oh, my mind is confused. Adalia, how long? How does doing them tonight versus make a difference of the weekend? I have no idea what they're talking yeah. about. How's the birthday week going, Lily asked. Yes. Um, if you wait until the weekend, they will be extra party, extra pretty. Let me see. Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry I'm late. Manicures? I'm I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. Who? Becca oh, Becca should get her nails done. All girls need pretty nails. See mine? Yes. I went with my daughter, took her for her birthday, and we got manis and patties. Mm-hmm. So I got the bright pink, and then she got a beautiful red with metallic. Mm-hmm. So this is... Oh, that's a corner. Looking back at them, it's kind of like when they're stored for so long, you forget the ones that you've made. You know? Yes. But... Well, how I thought it was going to be. And now seeing them again. Now I don't know again. Yep. It keeps you guessing. And I think it's kind of like a little scavenger hunt. You know, you don't know what it's going to be, but it's, by gosh, it's going to be fun. Then this was last month. And I'll, we definitely have to repress. Yes. <laughs> I know mine are but definitely you know, need it. Yeah. I just think they're stinking adorable. And at first I was really worried about these intersections over here, you know, and I was like, it didn't dawn on me at first. I was like, they're going to be lost in the seam allowance. That'll be good. So how are you feeling about this one? Are you getting ready to Jones out on the next one? Yes. I am so excited for the laundry basket quilts for the, for her fabric for Holly. Hollyhock? Hollyhock's what we picked. Oh, I am so excited for that. And the pinks and the reds. <laughs> Let me see. Um, he and Made by Ying were debating going today versus this weekend. I think I should go tonight. Go tonight then, baby girl. You're a big girl. Yeah, you can handle it all. And I keep this handy because I like to pull them out and play with them here on my desk. See, I haven't done that. I have mine filed over in the corner across from me. Maybe I need to take them out and give them again. (laughs) Yeah, I just like to fool with moving them around. Mm -hmm. Um, Let me see. Sewing sensations in the house. Kathleen Champs in the house. Hey, Hey, Joe. Your California girl, I can't stand having my nails done. It feels like my actual nails can't breathe. I don't know. I've had nails probably <laughs> since they were invented. I don't know what mine looked like unless a nail pops. Um, can I just start calling you SSSS? Yes, that's going to be her new name. S, the 4S. We'll call. We have Tracy Louise Iquil 2, T I Q 2. Mm-hmm. So Shady Susan, we're just going to say for us, <laughs> we got her. <laughs> that would be funny. I think I've just adjusted to them being like this, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, what's Anne Marie's block look like? Did you show your block, babe? Here's my the one that I sewed. I just love the way this is coming together. It's going to be so amazing. Yes, our ours is Hollyhock for mm-hmm. the next go around. What did you choose, Becca? And what did Ian choose? Hey, Tracy, Kathleen, S4, 4S, Becca, LOL, LOL, Janine. I like SSBSS. Yeah, that's cool too. <laughs> um, oh, I love the laundry basket fabric. Absolutely. So journey and welcome. 
Yes, I would love to work like so back. Absolutely. Um, well, there goes another 316 <laughs> LOL, but so pretty. I'm telling you what, you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. Every time I read your name, Susan, I just know what makes you shady. <laughs> 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 yep um let me see donna your elephant is gorgeous i'm loving it i'll be glad when i finish the eyes and tweak a couple little um spots on it nothing major i just mm -hmm. want to like really press it out really hard before i start peaching it because mm -hmm. it's begonia heading out hallelujah for nap time <laughs> beth you enjoy these last few days Ian did Aster, the Halloween one. Oh, that's right. Marie Johns. I chose Lavender. See you, Beth. Um, LOL. Sure, Susan. Sure. Janine, Donna, I love the background of your elephant. It's looking awesome. Let me give you a look-see real quick before we head out. I'll do the... You're going to do it, babe? Joe's going to move and show you. Let me move my iron and stuff out the way. Now you're going to get to see the full view of all of this. Beautiful. It's yeah. Beautiful. Oh, my thighs. Um, I like it. But at first, I thought the grungy was going to be just a bit too much. Oh, it's you know? perfection. Yeah. I'm going to be adding like a moon in the top. And I'm going to put an elephant um, peanut here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a few little tweaks to mine. <laughs> I just think it'd be funny. Um, Cindy, um, Beck, is the ice storm heading your way? If so, I would go tonight so you don't have to be out in this mess. Absolutely. We're going to be getting ice here. Thanks for the tip. Nails tonight it is. Yep. When is it supposed to hit? For my area, Becca, we were supposed to get it starting mid-afternoon today into the weekend. So I don't know. Um, hello, Beth, LOL. Have a great day, doll. Will be my first cotton cuts. Amy, you're going to love it. You won't be disappointed. Amy does fabulous with stuff. That elephant is <laughs> life size. Oh, my word. I'm going to be adding, I have enough of this fabric left when I get the paper off and I've pressed it out. I am going to use this and extend the border so that I'll be able to put like the moon behind it. Mm hmm. Oh. So I just, I'm not done with it yet. <laughs> so mine will take a, probably another week after we wrap it up on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Becca, stand back. I got dibs. <laughs> 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 oh, how beautiful the elephant pops out of that background fabric. I think so too. Thank you, honey. I woke up to snow and I don't like that white stuff. That's probably why you stayed in bed. You didn't want to get up and see all the brightness. Yes. Well, Tucker won't give me his. What are you <laughs> talking about? Who's calling dibs on the elephant? <laughs> all right, guys. I've detained you long enough today. We've been on about 45 and a bit. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys for joining me today. It's been fun. I love, I love having so time with you, sweetheart. Me too. And I do appreciate you. Well, you're so, so welcome. I'll find out from Becca when the next one's going to roll out. Okay. And it's just going to be fun. So remember, everybody, if you haven't gotten your cotton cuts yet, please, um, Becca Village, go on, sign up. It's fun. You won't be disappointed. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.